Well, you guys got a quick video here for you on how to download any Windows ISO version. Now, if you're looking for, say for instance, a Windows 11 23 H2, then you might be finding it difficult to find one because now Microsoft are pushing out Windows 11 24 H2, and now they don't offer a download link for 23 H2. But 23 H2 has a lifeline of up to uh, 2026. So you might want to go back to uh, 23 H2 and you can see here, when you go to their download page, it's only offering the uh, 24H2 download. So how can we get older versions that are still usable today in 2024? Maybe it's Windows 10, you wanna download an older version, or maybe it's an older version of say Windows Server or Windows 11. You can use this method I'm gonna show you. It's on UUP Dump, and it offers you many different versions of Windows which you can download. You can even download the early releases uh, if you want to play around with them inside a virtual machine. You can see Windows 11 has right the way down to 21H2 all the way up to 24H2. And also Windows Server, they have some versions right here. So if you want to use Windows Server, a different version, you can download it here. And Windows 10 goes all the way back to 1809, 21H2 and 22H2. So you also have the Canary channel and also dev channels here. And also we have uh, some really early releases from Microsoft. So if you want to install those on a virtual machine and have a play around, this is where you can get easy access to those ISOs. So let's go ahead and download Windows 11 23 H2, assuming that you might want to go back to the older version of Windows 11, which now Microsoft have removed the download links for. So this is how you can get that ISO. So we're going to download Windows 11 version 23 H2 and the build number is right there. The architecture is on the right hand side here just click on one of the ones you want to download from here you can choose your language let's go ahead and change the language to united kingdom uh, you can choose whichever language you want depending on what country you're in but i'm in english united kingdom here click next and it will take us to the next options so the next options is to choose our edition which edition do you want for instance if you only want windows pro you can just leave the Windows Pro check marked, but if you want other versions, you can actually check mark them here. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here, and now we can download and convert to ISO. We've also got some conversion options here, which is including updates uh, with Windows Converter only, and also we can uh, use other options available. So make sure you've got the radio button inside here to download and convert to ISO. And from here, the conversion options, we're going to leave install updates, Windows Converter only. We can also run component cleanup for Windows Converter only. And you can also integrate the .NET Framework 3.5 Windows Converter only option right here if you want to do that as well. But choose which options you want. If you just want a bare essential, you can just leave the include updates option if you just want a clean ISO. So download and convert to ISO and you can have conversion options of include updates. I'm going to leave all of these check marked here and if you want to compress it even further you can use ESD compression but I'm going to leave that unchecked for this option. Next we can click the create a download here and we can go ahead and download our package so we can go ahead and start to download our package so we can then compile our ISO for our machine. So let's go ahead and download this. It will give you a zip file, as you can see right here. Let me drag this to our desktop so we can check it out right here. From here, I'm gonna extract this file right here. So just right click and click extract all. And now we can extract. And there we have the extracted file. So what you're interested in is the one that says UUP underscore download underscore windows just double click on this one right here. You will get Windows protected your PC. That's because it's a, an unknown publisher. So just click continue here. Say yes to the user can control and a little command prompt box will open up right here. So what's going to happen is we need to type R to run once and this will use the script to download all the necessary components for our ISO and basically then compile it and give it a ISO name. So let's go ahead and let that do its thing. It does take a bit of time. So bear in mind, uh, this might take, depending on how fast your computer is, you know, 10 minutes or so. So we're just going to let that run. And when it's done, uh, I'll show you exactly what it is at the end.
But if you're going to go ahead and watch it, you'll probably see that it starts to add certain options that we added. For instance, the .NET Framework here, you can see it adding all those options in. And when it's completed, you will get uh, press uh, zero to exit out of the command prompt. It's now starting to save the image for us. And once this is done, we should have a completed ISO. There we go. Press zero or Q to quit and exit. And we can now do that. And let's go ahead and look inside the actual folder here, the one we extracted. And here is our ISO. We can now use whatever tool we want to create our bootable media and use this to install Windows. This is just going to be the version that you downloaded. So depending on what version you need to download to install on your system, you can use this method to get older versions that are still running today and you can still use them. Long after uh, Microsoft removing the link from their website, you can still download 23H2 in this way if you don't want to have 24H2. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.